Let's write the number 9.75 as a fraction. So right away, let's call it 9.75 over 1. That gives us the start of a fraction, and it's still equal to 9.75 since we're just dividing by 1. Now we need to get this 9.75 to be a whole number. And since we have one, two decimal places after the decimal point, we're going to multiply this by 100. When we multiply by 100, we get 975. And that's our whole number. But we can't just multiply the numerator by 100. We also need to multiply the denominator by 100. That's because 100 divided by 100 is 1. So we're just multiplying by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. 100 times 1 is 100. And now we have our fraction. The decimal 9.75 equals the fraction 975 over 100. But we can reduce this down to simplest terms. Let's do that. So 25 would go into 975 and 100 evenly. 975 divided by 25, that equals 39. And 100 divided by 25 equals 4. So the decimal 9.75 equals the fraction 39 fourths. This is an improper fraction. The numerator is larger than the denominator. So we could change it to a mixed number. 4 goes into 39. 4 times 9 is 36 with 3 left over. Bring the 4 across. So you could write 39 fourths as a mixed number, 9 and 3 fourths. These are equivalent. That's it. This is Dr. B changing 9.75 to a fraction. Thanks for watching.